Dick, you can forget that first round win. These coaches have to tell their kids it's one and done in this second round game between the New Mexico State Aggies and the Navy Midshipmen. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Midshipmen are looking at an uphill climb tonight, Dick. What are the keys to victory for them? Here are my keys for him, Brad. Number one, don't let the other team dictate the tempo and the pace. Play at your speed, baby. Second, get your man on your hip after the shot. Lock out and get after those boards. Thirdly, play solid fundamental defense and don't get caught gambling. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. Looking for a good shot. And up, way off target. Push that basketball. The power forward gets the ball. Trying to feed the low block. Stolen away. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Looking for a good shot. Got the high pick. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Number 15 gets the pass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Now they work it around the perimeter. Number 33 takes the... There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. He may be in trouble here, Brad. The small forward takes the pass. Got a nice screen. On the dribble, gives it up. They work it around the arc. The small forward with the ball. They go into the low block. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Takes the rebound. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. New Mexico State are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Defensively doing a great job down there, I and mean, he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. again. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Down inside. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> He does the sweet fake shot. The turn, a fadeaway jumper. And he missed. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Great shot. That's a 12-0 run. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. The ball goes out of bounds.
Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Number one is emotionally pumped up. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. That's a 14-0 run. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Now trying to feed the low block. Puts it on the floor and up and under and off the mark. New Mexico State have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA, Aaron Andrews. Check. He'll go to the line after that vicious dunk, Dick. Vicious is right, Brad. That dunk brought me right out of my seat, baby. Number 12 going to the line for the first time tonight. He hits it. Gave it up. And they get the turnover. Applying lots of pressure, Brad. And looking for the steal as well. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. For the bucket. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. They work it around the perimeter. He pump fakes. Look at that spacing. They work it around the perimeter. The frustration right there. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He goes with a jump hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Now they work it around the perimeter. Great anticipation defensively. And the ball goes out of play. goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. For two, in and out. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. There's the pick. From the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Hey, hey, hey. 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Looking for a good shot. On the inside, trying to draw the foul. And he scores despite the hack. at the three. Not there. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries one from three-point land. Way off target. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Easy pass. This one might turn out to be a blowout. Hey, if it continues along this path, I would hate to see tomorrow's headline. On the outside. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Number 15, pump fakes. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Looking for a good shot. They work it around the perimeter. For the bucket. And in and out. Jumps into the defender. They work the perimeter. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick down here on the sidelines. I'm standing by the losing team's bench, and their coaching staff is reminding them, it's just your nerves. Relax. Once you've settled in, you'll come back. Working it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. And he missed. For two. Up. Easy one. Both teams looking to get things going here. Fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to... He makes the block. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Well, that's basic. Shoots from outside. Off the rim and no good. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. There's a high screen. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. That spin move's not going to work against this, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Dump it inside. From left of the circle, way off target. On the outside, got a guy right on him on the pass. Tries for two, can't get the shot to drop. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. 
He seems absolutely adverse to taking any good shots right now. And with that, his teammates may be getting a little bit frustrated. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards that they have. Yeah, that helps. This defense really showing that they're not afraid to get physical. Hey, they're making them sweat on offense by taking chances, Brad. With a bucket, Navy are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. to the action here after the timeout. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. And it really converts an offensive transition. Up and inside. Gave it up. There's the trap. From left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Defensively down the low block, and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Picked out of the air. Here they go into transition. Goes up for two. Knocks it down. They work it around the perimeter for two. Great play to take that to the basket. You don't get any points for the replay, but it still looks great. Look at that spacing. Takes away the pass. Goes for three. Goes. Looking for a good shot. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Moving it around the perimeter. I think right now, got to focus defensively. He shoots from the top of the key. Take that basketball with that good defensive rebound. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Hey, you don't have to be a space eater, AKA a big guy to get on board. You just have to be relentless. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, field the defensive player on your hip, going one way, and you spin back the other way. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. And off the mark. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. He takes the three. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. You would say right here, Mr. Vitale, Flop City. I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestle.
Fakes it. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. On the dribble, gives it up. For the bucket. Doesn't go. Arm and foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. And look at the facial expression. Number 44 in the paint. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. And he can't hit the shot. On the outside. Tightly guarded. Goes up for two. He nails the bucket. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He's definitely hogging the ball like you hogged the microphone. <laughs> hey, sure he is. I can hear snorting from here. <laughs> Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. And he'll kick it back outside. Trying to draw some contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. On the dribble, gives it up. Leans in. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. There's the pick. There's the roll. Three. Comes up empty. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He puts it up there. Off the mark. And the ball goes out of play. At the end of the first half, the midshipmen are down by 12. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Navy had a horrible first half, Dick, in turning the ball over. I see a lot of guys out there thinking too much when they have the ball. When you think too much on the basketball court, they try to be Aristotle, man. They got to be basketball players. The opposition has time to react. You can't let them have that advantage. Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Erin. I 
I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Perfectly executed. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper for the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind me because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He intercepts it. The point guard receives the ball. He puts it up. He comes up empty. He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big play. He goes to the line for the first time. He can't buy one. Good rebound position. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. The center handles the feed. Dick not and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the outside, the small forward receives the pass. For two, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. He drains the bucket. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Cross court. And a momentary look from three-point land. Look at that spacing. The power forward handles the pass. Nice shot fake. Stolen away. They're off into transition. For two. Up and in. <laughs> Definitely a foul. Nick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Dumps it in. With a fadeaway jumper, look at that follow-through. Can't get the shot to go. Tries for two. Rims out. They work the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. And off the mark. Oh, clinical drop step. I tell you, clinic 101, how to utilize the drop step from the low post. He goes to the line for the first time. First one is no good. Misses them both. He gets the board. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He's got a nice shot fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Way off target. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side. And, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. 
They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Too much. That's a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. At the foul line. Free throw is good. Count it. Doesn't go. This team has got to be so frustrated they are terrible at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it. Moving it around the perimeter on the inside. Looking for the foul. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. High post screen. So effective, that screen. For the bucket. He puts it in with contact and all. outside number one it goes the senior leader gets the hoop and the foul call big trip to the line coming up baby he goes to the line for the first time he misses it they haven't been able to put it in from the line all night. Hey, this is how you win ball games, guys. Looking for a good shot. Nice fake. Here's a double team. The midshipmen have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Doesn't go. Go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. The midshipman to find a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. That's been moved. Not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. They're working around the perimeter. He shoots from the angle. Off the rim and no good. He unloads a three, way off target. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Puts it up, looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. To the 
fadeaway jumper. Look at that follow through. Can't get the shot to drop. Looking for a good shot. And a shot block. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. He buries it. Defensively try to stay with his man, and he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside, and they attack him aggressively. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, it's obvious their backs are against the wall. It's going to take a lot of fight and desire to get back into this one. Defensive stops are the words that come to mind, and without them, they just don't have a chance. All right, thanks, Aaron. They're having a rough time getting them to drop, Brad. They should take them to the basket and get some easy holes. Now they work it around the perimeter. Got a wide open look. Stop and pop. He buries the shot. Looking for contact. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. Jumps in. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Up and inside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. They get it out in the transition. Up and in. A little showtime. It's going to be a three-point play. You got the foul. The bench loves it. Number 54 goes to the line for the first time. Routine. Shoots it. He nails the bucket. He pump fakes for the bucket, perfectly executed. Outside jumper, off the rim and no good. Gave it up. Inside. He shoots from the elbow. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Stolen ball. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, up the guy got it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the keys. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. On the outside. Nice high post screen. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. They'll work it around the arc. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Oh. 
New Mexico State are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. He puts it up. Off the rim and no good. Picked off. He puts up the three ball. That was nice. This is worth the second look. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Goes up for two. Rims out. Way out on top. Control of the ball. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR. Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Entry pass in the paint. Kicks it out. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. The midshipmen have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. On the dribble, gives it up. The crowd continues to chant. I love it, Brad. Only in college basketball, baby. Only in college basketball. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. in the paint. He missed the inside shot off the screen. Stolen. With the fake. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. Navy is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. In the paint. He strips him clean. Gave it up. There's a double team waiting there. Great defense. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I got a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Picks off the pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Sets the screen for his teammate. He gets it to fall. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. It won't fall. Ball down low. Puts it on the floor. Turn around a fadeaway. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Perimeter. 
coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He throws it up from downtown. Rims out. Double team now, bad angle. Steals the ball. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Challenging like that really makes the offense think twice about putting the shot up. It's really almost as good as a block. And he scores despite the hack. You never know what's coming, Brad. He looks for the bomb. Off the rim and no good. Got the shot if he wants it. Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Green was there, but the shot didn't fall. Tries for two. Doesn't go. A lot of pressure on a basketball. Way to play the ball. Tough. Drive him, beat him, turn him, beat him to his spot. Top of the circle. He gets the shot to fall. But Dick, this game is all but over. That's all she wrote, Brad. This one is a done deal. into action here. Pull-up jumper from way out. He gets the bucket to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. Pushes it up. The ball goes out of play. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Gave it up. Entry pass in the paint. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Ten on the shot clock. Looking for a good shot. Got some room. Gave it up. This is the big time. Off the mark. Shot clock is dead. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we give him the ball, though? Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Nick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. New Mexico State is on their way to the Sweet 16 now after dispatching both their first two foes. I'll tell you, Brad, these young men are bringing their A game, and their third-round opponents better be prepared because these kids are looking to go all the way, baby. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, 